Pyro here, back with another Halo Mega Constructs Banshee Breakout from Halo Infinite. As you can see, these are the new two-in-ones, which on the back, they show more. You got this little ship you can build, or you can build the original, which I kind of like the originals, and in these videos, I'm not going to be making the, the second versions, because I think that's something you guys can do and see for yourself but I will be building the original vehicles and stuff and showing you that. So far, I really like the box art of these sets. I hope they continue to keep the line going with the art that they've been doing. And so far, I've been liking most of the sets that I've seen. Not so much of this one, but that's just because I really like the old original Banshee. But for this new uh, Banish stuff, it makes sense, and I think it looks a little bit better than their other Banshee that they made, which was red. So, it's interesting, and um, I'm liking it. Just, it's not one of my most exciting sets compared to all the others that I have or have seen. I'm mostly excited about the small little packs, uh, the armor packs and the, the figure packs that are coming out that some people have already gotten them, but they're pretty hard to find. They said that they were in Dollar General, and some people said that they're finding them in Walmart and stuff, and I've just yet to find them. But hopefully I can find them soon. But until then, I just have to show you what I got.
guys, I have to change my mind on this set. After building it, I have came across that I really like the build of that Banshee. The quality of the build is at its top, and so is the molds and the detail and the quality of the figures itself. They used not that cheap plastic like they normally do, it's this new plastic that feels really good. On the box, it doesn't look like what I thought it was going to be. That's why I wasn't very excited about this set. I thought it was just going to be one of those sets that's just kind of cheap, cheaply made, because that's what it comes across as. The only thing cheap about it is probably these guns. They're not very, that, that's one of the cheap plastics, but the figure is really good and it's detailed. And I really like these new elites with their new helmets and stuff. It's kind of hard to take them off. When you do, it looks pretty cool when you got this cool little helmet that goes on. Very cool. And then, to my surprise, the Spartan is even more detailed in quality. On him, he has on his shoulder actual high detailed gun bullets on the side, perfect for, you know, custom figures and stuff. Comes with that arm piece. And then on the head, the head has a new mold, I think. It's a lot more slimmer, but it's a uh, really good quality and it's all detailed as well. And then even the back has um, paint, or not paint, but uh, the detailing in the back. And it's pretty good. So a very top-notch quality figure. And I didn't expect that to come from these sets, or I mean this set in general. So that's what I'm pretty excited about. And I actually recommend that you guys go out and get at least one of these sets. I only needed one, but if you want to do big scale battles and stuff, I would maybe get two or three. But other than that, I'm pretty glad I got this set. I wasn't expecting to be as, as happy about it, but I'm actually pretty thrilled because of the detail and quality that this set provided. Now we get to the ship itself. To my surprise, there was a, actually a lot that went into this build. And as you can see, it took a little bit longer than I thought, but it's my first time doing these little speed build things or whatever, but I want to just implement that into my videos. And um, this was pretty fun building. I like this little backing. The whole thing is pretty sturdy. Like I know that the other red banshee that, I, that, that they made last time could break very easily. Parts would fall, but this, like, it's really sturdy and stuff. Just like that. The only parts that do fall off would be um, right here, the little part of the wing. But other than that, it seems like it's pretty good. The rest of it is to par. Then you open it up and you can see the little chamber inside. This is where the guy would put his little hands and stuff.
hatch closes, and there you go. So it's a pretty good set, and I'm quite happy with it. Really happy about the new figures and stuff, and I just can't wait to start getting into all the rest of them. But I should be posting more often as time goes on, but I just don't want to upload every day or whatever because I want my videos to get some traction. I know my last one didn't get that many views, but that's just because I missed the deadline with these things, but hopefully that you guys will watch and appreciate what I've done, or at least give me some feedback on if I should improve. I know my voice and all that, it's kind of hard to listen to sometimes and I get carried away, but hopefully I get the hang of it and I get better with these videos. So, Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and leave a comment on what you thought. See ya.